everyone. I am posting this video real quick before the weekend because I know that every weekend leading up to Halloween means more Halloween shopping. And every store seems to be putting out new items every few days. So this video is going to show you everything that you can find at Pier 1 Imports this year. They have some really cute ideas that we can maybe steal for some crafts. And they had some great things that you can purchase from pillows to towels to super cute little decorative lights. So um, the only downside to this one is when I went into Pier 1, they weren't too keen on recording. So um, I wasn't able to do that, but that doesn't mean we can't take pictures. So here is some of the stuff from Pier 1. They had a really awesome collection this year of these like little carnival guys. They had like a little monkey, a little zebra, um, some crows, and these pumpkins. I think these pumpkins would be so awesome if you had a carnival theme. And they just look really... I don't know, just whimsical and like you would find them there. They would be super cute on the porch or around the house. Um, this is like the ringleader witch thing that they did. Um, and all of those were metal, so they're really well crafted. Um, and then here's some pumpkins they had, just decorative ones. They're kind of cute just as is where you can put them around, but I thought they'd be really neat just to share to give some more ideas on how you could maybe do your pumpkins or paint them. Um, and I love this little mat down here the one with the bat and the swirls it had like that sisal stuff that was really awesome and the witch's hat i like that they used pink a lot of the witch's hats for sale have purple and green and things so it's kind of good if you want to be a girly witch and neat idea for the wreath over there with the little picks and here are some of their ornaments they were okay. They didn't have really like anything unique for the ornament selection, which is a little disappointing, but the witches were, you know, again, well made, just not really spooky. And I love that little um, cat that had the um, like Day of the Dead looking stuff. And this scarf thing is a great idea. You can use creepy cloth to do the same thing around your pillows or chairs. And then these, the guys in the center are mercury glass looking. They had orange, silver, and black of those, and a bunch of the really sparkly pumpkins. And then I liked the potion bottle. Up on the top right, it says Black Cat Kisses. I thought that was different. I haven't seen that on a potion bottle, and I used to have, like, dozens of them. And these houses that they did are crazy, crazy detailed. Like, if you're looking at the fronts of those, it's, like, all little... Like a wooden cutout with all these little different designs in them and then they light up from the back so it will like I'm sure look even better at night now here is a spell book on the left hand side if you remember from the supply video I bought those skeleton hands that I told you guys about and um, we have our large book so that is going to be when we do witchcrafts which will be this weekend we'll be doing some of the spell books including that large one one like it and then here are their pillows. The home sweet home on the coffin is so clever, whoever came up with that. Um, and then these are placemats. They have sequins on them and they put them on there loosely so you can move them to either show the orange or the black so you can write things in them. Like I just kind of wrote the boo in there to show you maybe different ideas. Again, the pillows and just mats and things that they have had great detail. Um, and then I like that they have the little pet things mixed in too. Like they have these pet dishes, but he's kind of cut out. But they have like a little wiener dog that has skeleton stuff painted on that was, I thought, really unique. And then for the um, glass there, they had glass pumpkins, gourds. Um, they also had the candlesticks at the very top. Really beautiful blown glass pieces that, of course, you can use for Halloween or Thanksgiving. And then they have this blue mixed in. I really never thought of a light blue being mixed in, but then I was thinking, you know, why not? Sally's like a light blue, and the chick off of Corpse Bride's a light blue. Just never thought of it, you know, without seeing it incorporated like that. Here's some more of the natural things they have. Tons of candle scents, as usual. And also another little idea, 
that I'm sure if you haven't seen before, I just kind of like that they did the pumpkin. You take the pumpkin, you cut the top off and put different, um, you know, centerpieces in. And you can use that for Halloween or Thanksgiving. And the lights were my absolute favorite. They had little ravens in cages. They had spiders. The skeleton guys over there on the right-hand side. Uh, they had ghosts. They had it, just normal ones up top, too. So if you wanted to just have regular ones you can use for multiple holidays. Um, the only downside is that they're like $19 to $30, depending on the design. The design. So it, I thought it was a little bit on the pricey side, but they're really, really, really cool and unique. All right, everyone, that wraps up everything from Pier 1 for the Halloween shopping trip for 2017. I really like that they had some unique and different items compared to what I've seen at other stores. Like, I like the little carnival collection. Love the pillows. Um, again, I like that they incorporated some of the, like, animal things, like the dishes and whatnot. And so, as I mentioned as well... This weekend is going to be witchcraft, so we are going to be making the large spell book, the small stacked books, and a witch's broom. And every time that um, I add a project, everything's going to build on it with the videos. So the first video explained everything that you'll need for the projects, where you can find them, what options you have, and price ranges. And then the crafts are going to build in complexity. So we're going to start with some of the easier, smaller crafts and we're going to build up to the large crafts and we will be doing a project every week um, or having an event that I can share with you every week from now through the end of the year. So we're going to transition straight from Halloween onto fall and Thanksgiving and then go into Christmas. And with the videos, if there are things that you like more than others, please make sure to like them so I know what to bring you more of and what to share. Um, also in the comments, I will be checking the comments frequently. So if you have any questions about projects or maybe you're stuck on something, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer those. I'll check those daily. And also make sure you subscribe if you want to be up to date and get the videos as soon as they come out. Uh, but like I say, there's going to be at least one project a week. If there's something I think I need to share with you guys, there will be more that's shared. I'm um, just like this time, like I know the weekend's coming up and I just want to show you what's available there at Pier 1 because then you know if you need to spend your time going there or not because, you know, there's lots to see. Tons of different things this time of year to enjoy. And um, I really look forward to sharing things with you. I really hope that you learn. Um, a really good friend of mine recommended that I share some of the ideas that I have and projects that I've done. And I really hope that you guys enjoy them. I hope that we can make things that will be great for your party, that will be one of a kind, that are exclusive to you. You know, it feels good when you have a compliment and it's like, oh my gosh, where did you get that? Or like, oh, that's so cool. And it's something you did. You know, you made it. It's not something that was just off a shelf that anyone else can get. And that's one of the reasons, too, that I tell you, like, what you do isn't going to have to look like mine. It, you know, put your own creativity, your own stamp on it. Um, so I can't wait to do all of that with you. I really hope you share, too, in the comments projects that you're doing so that they all can vary. Um, and... I hope you guys have a great weekend, happy hunting for the Halloween items, and I will be posting more ideas soon.